Well, your mom yeah. had drug issues. Mm-hmm. Heroin, yeah. I think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And was that something that happened, you know, early on, like after you were born, or was it before you were born? Or Nah, so, you know, some of my family members say she may have been dipping and dabbing before I was born, but I'm not sure of that. I don't think so. Um, my mother, she, you know, she had a scholarship plan, tennis in college, very yeah. beautiful woman. And when I was like four or five years old, she got in a really bad car accident. Her and her girlfriend was leaving Washington, D.C. to drive back home to Baltimore and car flipped over the guardrail. She was paralyzed for like two years. And I think that oh, devastated wow. her and kind of like, you know, when people are experiencing trauma, everybody doesn't react to it by way of, you know, digging deep within themselves to, to heal themselves. Like some people look for external you know, ways to fill those voids. So yeah. I think that that, that was what kind of started her on that trip. When you say paralyzed, wheelchair or? No, fully paralyzed. Neck down? Uh, neck down. Oh, wow. Yeah. But no, I'm sorry. No, 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 waist down. Waist down, apologies. waist yeah. down, so in, in yeah. a wheelchair. Yeah, in a wheelchair, yeah. But she recovered from that? Yeah, she recovered. I think it took her like two or three years to recover. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's, and you were already born by this time? Yeah, or? I was like, I want to say like four or five. At this okay. time, maybe five, six. I can't remember exactly. It's like a blur a little bit. Okay. So here you are, five, six years old, seven years old, eight years old. Yeah. Your mom starts using. Mm. I didn't really know. Like, I didn't really know at the time that she was. I just, it wasn't anything. What was what I did recognize with the, was the fact that she was in the cast. You know, for a while, I wouldn't go around it because I was scared of the cast I, you know, as a kid, you know, mm-hmm. I didn't know what, what that was. And so my grandmother was raising me, other family members, you know, my godfather at the time who she told me when I got older who introduced her to heroin, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you know, it was just me getting used to kind of like seeing her. Then she started walking again slowly but surely. She had one cast on her leg and then one thing led to the next. The earliest memory I have of that is probably when she had a, her, an overdose I was it was me and her in the house and she was in the bathroom for a really long time and uh I went over to the bathroom I was trying to get her attention and I think from the way she told me the story the pain from me like pushing the door against her leg kept her up and kept her from overdose she said I called the cops and every I can't really remember like all the details but I vaguely remember mm-hmm. them like that situation happening well in, in the world of of drugs, yeah. you know, from people I've spoken to, heroin is generally considered the worst drug. It is. You know, is. you talk about cocaine, you talk about even crack, uh, you know, meth and so forth. Heroin is considered the most addictive drug and the one that has the biggest physical addiction, mm-hmm. you know, the fallout of when you stop. Right. And... Also, the types of things that you do in order to keep getting heroin. Facts. You know what I mean? Like Absolutely. I mean, I, I remember I interviewed um, uh, Pee Wee Kirkland, mm-hmm. who kind of was like the heroin kingpin of, of uh, Harlem. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about some of the horrors of heroin. Right. Um, even, you know, he said that he tried to control it to a certain degree. When I came into the game, you know what I brought into the game? Everybody said, Pee Wee, man, you changed the game, man. You, it's almost like the game changed, you know, all that. You couldn't, then you couldn't be in the game. You couldn't tell me why you took somebody's life. Because I don't want to hear it. You see what I'm saying? You couldn't, I never was in that life, in that game. Like, in other words, nobody around me got high. None of them did what they was doing in after hour spots. None of them was using cocaine to turn women inside lives out. And in, 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 in after our spouse all night gambling, every woman coming there, you hit, you hooking on cocaine so you can go somewhere and have an orgy or threesome and all that kind of shit. I never was a part of none of them kind of things. Nobody could tell you I was ever around a woman in Holland that wasn't decent and respectful. Never. And, and, and I know what you're talking about, but guess what? It didn't just inv- involve after I went away, then I found out about what you, a lot of what you're talking about which was guys owing guys money and then making guys eat dog shit in front of crowds. Dog shit in front of crowds. They embarrass them. Make, having, making guys bring their woman, making their woman have sex with a dog. 
you know, there there was books like like Dope Fiend mm-hmm. by Donald Goins. Mm-hmm. I've heard it. I've heard. Of okay, yeah, and and this book starts out in a heroin house, and uh, the the dealer was like making you know the 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 heroin addicts have sex with his dogs in order to have another hit and stuff like that, like th- th- this type of craziness. You know, not to say that your mom did that in any degree, but I'm no, saying no, I like, understand what you're saying. The, the craziness yeah. associated with heroin is is mind blowing. It really is. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think it's from what I what I've witnessed is definitely one of those drugs that, when used, it releases these endorphins that fill the void of of pleasure and all these different things. And yeah. it's just a, it's kind of like I've heard very similar stories of friends of mine who's taken psychedelics before. Hmm. You know, but except heroin is very synthetic and it leads down a much darker place and it's, it's, it's chemicals, you know, basically. So, man, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very fucked up thing to witness, you know. But I yeah. will say that, you know, there were points in times of her life where, you know, she was very focused on me becoming an artist. And not, not becoming an artist, but like focusing on my gift. Mm-hmm. You know, she told me, she always told me she wanted to give me something. She saw all the things my friends were getting into, my family were getting into, other cousins, like family members. So she wanted to apply a certain passion for something in my life. And when she started, I had a gift for singing. She just kept like, you know, uh, massaging that gift so that I had something to fall back on and that, and that was in the streets. Absolutely. I mean, growing up in that type of environment, did you dabble in the streets at all? In the beginning, like middle school, I would say middle school. In middle school, like, I was selling drugs in middle school. You know, right back then it was just weed. Like, yeah. weed, you know, um, there was, pills wasn't really popping like that when I was in middle school. It was just like weed, but like heavy. Mm-hmm. Like, all the kids were smoking weed and smoking cigarettes and, yeah. you know, just doing crazy stuff. But like, um, after that, it was shortly after that I got in trouble and then, I ended up getting adopted, so it was it was very short lived. It wasn't a long time. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever dabble in drugs yourself? No. 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 I never. I never have. Okay. So seeing what your mother went through and what the what your environment was going through mm-hmm. made you just never want to touch it at all. I wouldn't say it was just that. I just I've always been like in control. Like I've always wanted to be in control of my my life and my surroundings. And when I was a kid, like, I was always mature, man. I was always, like, ahead of my, my time in terms of, like, being aware. I was very aware of my surroundings. I was very aware of, and of my, intu- my intuition was always really strong. Um, and, yeah, so, like, growing up, it was just, like, I always learned from other people's mistakes, if you will. You know, there was never, I never had an urge to escape from anything using drugs. I saw enough craziness, like. Yeah, absolutely. You know? 